Hello students, today we are going to do chapter 11 constructions. In today's session, we will take exercise 11.1 .1, in which we will learn how to divide a line segment in given ratio. We will also see how to construct a triangle similar to a given triangle when scale factor is given to us. So, let us start with our first question of exercise 11.1. .1. The question is draw a line segment of length 7.6 centimeter and divide it in the ratio 5 is to 8. Measure the two parts and then give the justification of the construction. So, let us start our construction. We will first draw a line segment of length 7.6 centimeters. This is 0 of the scale. So, I will mark a point here and then at 7.6 I will mark another point. When we join these two points, I get a line segment of length 7.6 centimeters. Let us name it as A, B. Now, we will draw a ray A x such that AX makes an acute angle with AB. You can see that this angle is acute. What is an acute angle? An angle less than 90 degree. So, you can see that this is less than 90 degree. The next step is to mark points on AX. How many points? The ratio given to us is 5 is to 8. So, what is the sum of these two numbers? 5 plus 8 turns out to be 13. So, we will locate 13 points on ray AX. Take your compass and an appropriate radius. From point A, mark your first arc. We will call this arc as A1. Then from A1, we will mark another point A2 on AX. Then similarly, we are going to mark 13 points A3. A4, A5, A6, A7, A8, A9, A10, A11, A12 and the last point A13. So, this point is A13. This point is A1. This is A2, A3, A4, and this point is A5. Now, the ratio is 5 is to 8. For that, I will first join point A13 with point B.
we got line segment BA13. The next step will be from point A5, we will draw a line segment parallel to BA13. How we are going to do this? We will use the result that if corresponding angles made by two lines with the transversal are equal, then the lines are parallel. So, we will draw corresponding angles equal so that we get two parallel lines. So, this angle is A A13 B. We will make an angle at A5 equal to this angle. So, let us start this. You know how to draw equal angles? For that, with a convenient radius taking A13 as center, we will mark an arc. Without moving the compass with the same radius and center A5, mark another arc. Now, open the compass equal to this angle. Let me see if the arc is proper. Okay. So, the same arc, same arc of same radius we are going to mark here. Let this point of intersection be P. Now, we will join A5 and P. You can see that we have got this line. Let me mark this point as C. You can see A5 C is parallel to A13 B because we have made these two angles equal. These are nothing but corresponding angles. Let me name them as angle 1 and angle 2. As these two angles are equal, these two lines must be parallel. We had line segment AB of length 7.6 centimeter on which we have located a point C which is dividing AB in the ratio 5 is to 8. Let us justify how this C point is dividing AB in the ratio 5 is to 8. For that, let us consider triangle A A13 B. In this triangle, you can see BA13 and CA5 are parallel lines. So, using basic proportionality theorem, we have this upon this is equal to this upon this. So, what we can write? Either this upon this equals to this upon this or this that is AA5 upon A5 A13 is equal to AC upon CB. So, our ratio will be A A5 upon A5 A13 equals to AC upon CB. And what about A5 A5 and A5 A13? A5 A5 takes 5 parts and A5 A13 takes 8 parts. So, we get the ratio of AC upon CB as 5 is to 8. Let us measure the length of these two parts. So, students you can see that AC 
turns out to be 2.9 and CB turns out to be 4.7 centimeters. So, this is how we divide a line segment in given ratio. So, students let us see how to write steps of construction. We have to divide a line segment of length 7.6 centimeters in the ratio 5 is to 8. We can write the step as first step draw line segment AB of length 7.6 centimeters then draw ray AX making an acute angle with line segment AB. Next step will be locate 13 points A1, A2, A3, A4 up to A13 on ray AX such that AA1 is equal to A1, A2 is equal to A2, A3 and so on all these parts are equal. Then we will join B and A13. Next step will be through the point A5 draw a line parallel to B A13. At A5 we draw this line intersecting A B at point C. Then C is the point dividing the line segment A B of length 7.6 centimeter in the required ratio that is 5 is to 8. The length of A C and C B can be measured and it came out to be AC was 2.9 centimeter and CB was 4.7 centimeters. So, students let us move on to our next question. The question is construct a triangle of side 4 centimeter, 5 centimeter and 6 centimeter and then a triangle similar to it whose sides are two third of the corresponding sides of the first triangle. We also need to give the justification of this construction. So, let us start this construction by constructing triangle with sides 4, 5 and 6 centimeters. So, first I am taking a line segment of length 4 centimeter. Let me name it as AB. Then taking A as center, I will mark an arc of radius 5 centimeter. So, you can see that I have taken 5 centimeter with A as center, mark an arc. Then with radius 6 centimeters, Mark another arc taking B as center intersecting the previous arc. Let me name this point as C. So, if I join AC and BC, I get triangle first triangle ABC with sides 4, 5 and 6 centimeters. Now, the next target is to draw a triangle similar to it with ratio of sides 2 by 3. So, I will draw a ray AX making an acute angle with line segment AB that is side of the triangle ABC. So, next the ratio was given to us as 2 is to 3, 2 by 3. Which of these numbers is greater? 3. So, what we are going to do on AX, we will locate 3 points without changing the radius of the compass. So, let me call this point as A1, then from A1 I will mark point A2, then from A2 I will mark point A3. So, we got 3 point on AX, A1, 
a 2 and a 3. Distance a a 1 is equal to a 1 a 2 is equal to a 2 a 3. We have marked these arcs in such a way. Now, join a 3 with b. Now, students as in this fraction or ratio, we have numerator smaller than denominator. So, the second triangle is going to be smaller than the first triangle. So, our next target is to draw a line from A2 which should be parallel to A3B. For that, you know the steps. We will make corresponding angles equal right. So, take a convenient arc and then taking A3 as center mark an arc. Without changing the radius of the compass taking A2 as center mark this arc. Now, measure this angle. So, if I mark an arc, I can see that, right. With the same radius, I will mark an arc from this point. Let this point be P, we will join A2 and P. If we extend it, it will intersect A B at a point and let me call this point as B dash. The next step is I am going to draw another line from B dash parallel to B C. Now, we can call A to B dash a line segment instead of line because we have taken the end points the same way we are going to draw a line segment B from B dash parallel to BC following the same steps. With B as center an arc with same radius B dash center another arc. Then measure this angle. Mark the same arc, arc of same radius. We got this point. Join B dash with this point. We may call it Q. So, you can see that we have got this line parallel to B C. Let me call this point as C dash. So, we have got two triangles first was A B C and second A B dash C dash such that ratio of their sides is 2 by 3, 2 is to 3. Let us see how we can justify this construction. For that, Consider two triangles first A B C and then A B dash C dash. In these two triangles you have this angle equal to this angle and this angle is common in both the triangles. So, what do we have these two triangles are similar to each other. When we have two similar triangles their sides are proportional. So, what we can write now we can write that A B dash upon A B 
is equal to b dash c dash upon b c is equal to a c dash upon a c. Now, let us consider these two triangles below a b that is a a 2 b dash and a a 3 b. These two triangles are also similar because ang this angle is equal to this angle and a this one is common. Now, we taking these two similar triangles we can again write ratio of sides. I will write as a a 2 upon a a 3 equals to a b dash upon a b and what is a a 2 and a a 3? a a 2 takes 2 parts and a a 3 takes 3 parts. So, what we get the ratio of a b dash upon a b? It is 2 upon 3 and a b dash upon a b is equal to b dash c dash upon b c and a c dash upon a c. So, all these ratios are equal to 2 upon 3 and this is what we were asked to do in this question. So, students let us see the steps of construction. The first step is draw a line segment a b of length 4 centimeter taking point A as center, draw an arc of 5 centimeter radius. Similarly, taking B point as center, draw an arc of 6 centimeter radius. These arcs will intersect each other at point C. Now, we will join A C and B C to get triangle A B C. Next step is draw a ray A x making an acute angle with line A B. Then locate three points a1, a2, a3 such that a a1 is equal to a1, a2 is equal to a2, a3. Why we have located three points? Because in the ratio 2 by 3, 3 is the greater number. Next step will be join b a3 and draw a line through a2 parallel to b a3 to intersect a b at point b dash. Next step will be draw a line through b dash parallel to the line b c to intersect a c at c dash and we get our second triangle that is triangle a b dash c dash which is our required triangle. Let us move on to next question. The question is construct a triangle with sides 5 centimeter, 6 centimeter and 7 centimeter and then another triangle whose sides are 7 by 5 of the corresponding sides of the first triangle. We also need to justify our construction. So, let us start the construction. First, we will construct our first triangle. Let us first draw a line segment of length 5 centimeter. Let me name it as a b. Now, with 6 centimeter radius and A as center, I will draw an arc, then with radius 7 centimeters and center B, I will draw another arc intersecting the previous arc at a point and let us call this point as C. This gives us first triangle, triangle ABC. Join AC and BC, then we get triangle ABC. To draw our second triangle, we will first draw ray A x making an acute angle with side A b. 
the ratio of the two triangles should be 7 by 5. Here you can see numerator is greater than denominator. So, the second triangle is going to be bigger than the first triangle. So, we will mark locate 7 points because this is the greater number out of the two. We will mark locate 7 points on A x and let us take a comfortable radius, a convenient radius taking A as center. I will mark first point A 1, then taking A 1 as center A 2 and same way I will mark 7 points such that these distances are equal, right. So, I am not changing radius of the arcs, not moving my compass. A 5, A 6, and A 7. So, this point is A 7, this is A 1, A 2, A 3, A 4, A 5 and A 6. Now, as the ratio should be 7 by 5, I will join point A 5 with B. Next step is we will draw a line parallel to A 5 B from point A 7. So, for that as I told you the second triangle will be greater than the first one, we will extend A B. and also A C. So, now we are going to construct from point A 7 a line parallel to A 5 B. Again using the property of corresponding angles taking A 7 as center, first taking A 5 as center, let me draw an arc. Then with the same radius taking A 7 as center, I will draw another arc. Then take this We will join A 7 with this point. Let me call this point as P. Join A 7 and this point. Such that this line intersects extended A B. Let me call this point as B dash. Now, from B dash, we will draw a line parallel to B C. Again, construct equal angles.
let us call this point as Q join B dash and Q and extend it. This parallel line will intersect extended AC at a point, let me call this point as C dash. So, we got two triangles, first was A B C and second is A B dash C dash such that these two triangles have ratio of their sides as 7 by 5, 7 is to 5. Let us justify it the same as we did in our previous question. Consider triangle ABC and triangle AB dash C dash. These two triangles are similar, these two angles equal and this one is common. So, sides should be proportional. So, I get AB dash upon AB is equal to B dash C dash upon BC equals to a C dash upon A C and then taking these two triangles A A 5 B and A A 7 B dash, these two triangles again are similar, these two angles equal, this one is common, sides should be proportional. So, we have A A 5 upon A A 7 is equal to a B upon A B dash. I can also write it in uh, inverted form, inverse form A A 7 upon A A 5 upon A B dash upon A B because I need ratio A B dash upon A B. What is A A 7? It is 7 parts A A 5 5 parts. So, it is equal to A B dash upon A B. This ratio turns out to be 7 by 5. So, all the 3 sides have ratio 7 ratio 5, 7 by 5. Let us see steps of construction. First step is draw a line segment A B of length 5 centimeter, taking A and B as center draw arcs of 6 centimeter and 7 centimeter radius respectively. Let these arcs intersect each other at point C. We get triangle ABC which is the required triangle and then step 2 is draw a ray AX making an acute angle with line AB on the opposite side of vertex C. Next step locate 7 points A1, A2, A3 up to A7 on ray A x such that A A 1 is equal to A 1 A 2 is equal to A 2 A 3 and so on. Then the next step is join B and A 5, then draw a line through A 7 parallel to B A 5 to intersect extended line A B at point B dash. Next step is draw a line through B dash parallel to BC intersecting an extended line segment AC at C dash. We get triangle AB dash C dash which is our second required triangle. Students, I hope you have understood these constructions. Thank you so much.